Good morning, everyone. It's Cindy in Seattle. It is Monday morning, October the 28th. We are eight days away from taking the trash out. It's almost trash day. Did you catch all weekend what happened at this Trump rally? The things, the horrible things that he said about Puerto Rico, about the brown people, last week about the Mexicans, the effing Mexicans, us as black people, like this piece of trash needs to be taken out. I hope I got my ballot in this weekend. I hope you got your ballot in. I'm so disturbed by this bold white supremacy, these folks getting up on stage and having rallies and cheering on the hatred of other people. <clears throat> it's time, people. It is time for us to show who's got the power in this country. And Dr. Phil, you're another piece of trash that needs to go. My friend Erin Jones, she is Afro-educator here on this platform, actually went onto the Dr. Phil show and experienced firsthand what a piece of shit he is also. Now, to get up and say that this is not a DEI country, you know, first off, he's a DEI hire. You know, didn't earn it, white men. This country is built on black people and stolen from brown people. So the audacity of him to get on national stage and talk about the fact that this is not a DEI, you know, they can come up with the terminology, didn't earn it, because they know they didn't. How many of you know or work in the workplace and you see and have to sit next to the folks who are barely competent, if not mediocre, while they sit here and try to tear down the people who are more qualified than ever for these roles? I know we're all tired of this. It's been a long haul getting to this point. I am hopeful and prayerful that many of us have gotten out the vote, got our votes, our ballots in early so that we can get counted. We need to, again, trash day is next Tuesday. Let's take him out once and for all, get him locked up in jail where he belongs for his 34 counts, take America back to the people who built, whose land this is, who built this country, and give us opportunity economy like what Vice President Harris is pushing. I'm riled up this morning because it was the most disgusting display of white supremacy. Oh, they just didn't have the pillowcases over their head. We see them for who they are. Do you see them? Did you get your vote? Did you get your ballot in? Are you actively out here in your communities making sure that we get the right people down the ballot? So let's also remember, we got to vote down ballot. All these other elections, get vote blue, get Democrats in so that we can take the House, we can take the Senate, we can make the changes that we need to make in this country. Okay, everybody, I'll try to calm down right now, but have a good day. I'll be checking in with you this week.